There's some aggression going in mid. Early on, Furia over towards Elbow. Yeah. Dodging out this early flash recon kind of combo. But NRG are going to get a lot of info in mid that they are not there. Nobody was ready to receive it. Here's the reaction though. Wall goes up now straight into the B side. The knife connect. No, it's in. There's still one tripper. Get themselves into the side, but no backside control. Still, the plant is there. 5v5 now. On the retake. Denial there of knife. Normally, these teams on the retake are going to battle for the window position. Look how many Furia players are ready to collect crashes. Take phone with and here it is, crashes. The trip's broken. Gets the one, but instantly returns. It's Conan there, still holding his ground as well. Now, Demon 1 activating the dash. He knows there's a player window. Time is running short. They're taking a long, bloody time with this one. you got to get a move on. Seriously, kills need to be found. Molly at the feet. Liazzi still, he's vulnerable himself. Taken out. Just a single shot will do it. But still, it's time. The biggest issue. And it just took far too long with it. Furia. The round just unraveled there for NRG, but they're going to be winning that pistol round and happy for it. It's the kind of pistol round, though, where both teams just miss each other completely yeah. in terms of what the game plan was. There was nobody anchoring the B site because NRG were banking on that being a bit of mid control for Furia. That was not the case. So for NRG, yeah, yeah, that B retake did look torturously slow. But let's wait until we see a couple of the rifle rounds to see exactly how that kind of stuff goes and whether there's a pattern developing. On the other side of things, though, Fury are buying a free bulldog, a rifle. Yatsi even buying to make sure that MW has enough money for an attack side operator coming up as well. You can see that MW with the rifle still has 2200. Demon 1 is trying to get aggro here. Even with only full classics, they're just trying to group up and see if they can catch somebody that was containing over towards A. Yeah, make a play. Maybe if there was one player holding it, but no, everybody's grouped up towards B. Unsteady. Shock just in case it's a trip into the corner. All the utils send flying as well, making sure to just clear through onto the side. But Victor's nowhere to be seen. Yeah. Look, look at the utility that Fury are using. This is going to be a, probably a quite standard B execute. You've got flash recon, updraft to get over the initial trip that Victor might be laying down. And then there's a KO molly towards the back of sight as well. But these are all the kind of things that had NRG actually had a couple of players there, they would they would start to learn about. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Look at nice of it against the eco. And Crashies and Liazzi just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looking the other way. Clean beginning for Furia with a couple of B hits. Water guns surviving. Here's something I noticed about Furia in the off season. They've just got a new coach in, right? Who unfortunately can't be here with them today, but I'm sure is still in communication with them, obviously. But they have started off their Breeze games by hammering one side of the map at the start of the game, and then they open up and start doing different things. So really trying to hardcore do something to condition their opponent at the start of Breeze. It looks to me like they're going for heavy execs at the start of this to try and pull NRG towards the sites. Here. Maybe later on, they'll start to exploit mid. Flash has set it up a, with the recon as well. Demon 1 is tucked to the corner now. Players in his face. Lots of chances, lots of opportunities. Oh, what a flash. And it is beautiful. 3 4. Clear court in halls. One enemy remaining. And the idea in this round, the distraction that's supposed to allow for Khalil or Yatsi to do anything. NRG did not need any more help on site. Then a we couple of win. flashes from Ethan no and Demon 1 Let's collecting go. names. And Crashes was big enough, Ethan, on the KO. A lot of his setups, a lot of his flashes. I mean, Ethan, he's a cerebral player. Take a look at that flash. That is perfect. Oh, catches all of them. Yeah, everybody. And then it's only that one duel towards the end, which Demon 1 manages to collect. But that, that also frees up the rest of NRG to start looking towards halls. They don't have to run and help Demon 1. Yeah. So, first round on the board for this America's super team. And Demon 1 looks like he wants to try and contest with a flash into mid. Did that. Breaking it. Did that catch on to Liazzi? It did, yeah. Nobody broke it. So now you see Furia after going for hard eggs X three rounds in a row. Now they're starting to explore mid, but here is Demon 1. There's his drone. Just spotting it out. Yazzie off to the needed. side was hoping to try and get a lurk time with the orb up. Still can do. Really threatening this. That slow beginning into mid. Demon 1 might just be the playmaker once more. It's an off angle. Slightly ajar. They're not expecting it. There's the return. Spike MW. Down, Good mid. trade. Kill. Yeah, great trade. And he's still alive into the action. Into the site now. 55 seconds. Plenty of time left into this round. Back to the site. And now G just slowing it down, making sure to contain it. Liazzie could really be a difference maker. 
And Andrew are aware of it, but that doesn't mean they can deal with it. Into mid as well, that's marked. Good kill, still, here's Liazzi. Finds the one, finds the second door, being closed in his face as Victor, 2v2. At the double doors now, MW still back towards the pyramid. So his teammate watching his back, just from main. Watching for the cross here. One enemy remaining. Taking the time of it, MW. Lovely shot. Marv now with so much more to do, but he just does not know where his last player is in the app. MW, lovely three piece, 3K. That's three to one. Fury are playing a slow round there, walking their way up through mid. And even as Havoc died on the entry through double doors, instant trade came out from MW, and that was it. Acceleration. Uh, they go forwards instantly as soon as they take out Demon 1 there. They realize that they've found themselves an opening. If you can go one for one against Demon 1, you're actually in a great position to be able to get into sites, play post plans. So that's knocked the economy a little bit of NRG. Marv back onto a Guardian. And this is a really a important flash no? round. Okay, just a knife. You're right, it is important just for the economics. Big investment with all the guns. And look, Liazzi not going to be on a lurk this time. Sticking with the team, and once he gets the spike plant down, he has hit. Waves of the Util. Demon 1 didn't get caught by any of it, but now the drone's in his face as well. He needs some help from the rest of it. Wall goes down, had the dash active, loses the fight. MW. Really taking it to him. We talked about that jet head to head still. Ethan is alive and kicking the IGL. The flight timing! Oh, That's oh, gonna land it. That is really dodgy. Sharp as a cue ball with that one still. Ethan is alive there. Pit down though, makes things a little bit more difficult, but it's steadily really just getting out of their hands here. If you are Fury with the pit now falling, it's all down to just the one. It's Conan, he can't do anything about it. Major round from Ethan, not with the utility, but in fact with his rifling. Ethan's throwing out all of his util right at the beginning of these rounds. He's not saving much of it for the retake. He's trying to put pressure on people as they get into the site. But in the last couple of rounds, hasn't quite been able to time up with Demon 1. You see the flash there that pops, but it's after the attacker's viper wall has already gone down. So just mistiming it slightly, but nevertheless landing so many great shots to be able to win the round outright. And that's the danger with NRG. They're all very talented players that are oh, yeah. able to work the map with their utility, but they've also got insane rifling skill. And they flip the economy back completely the other direction. W with the Blade Storm unavailable. Still some slight danger into the round. But, okay, Demon wants the exact same idea as well. Here we go, sending the util up in their faces as the flashes have to disengage. Back and away still here with the upshot. That is nice. Micro adjustments just to find the kill. Havoc falling. All the advantages now laid out for NRG. Are they going to be able to reclaim these guns? It's contact plays. They're going to be waiting, walking right into each other. Spike Pure down, collection. Mid. All down to Liazzi. And Team One is hunting for a 20 <laughs> HP. Gets taken out with a classic, but Victor is going to collect. What an interesting difference to the round there from NRG. They've had Demon 1 playing aggressive at various times, not always hunting for that aggression in mid, but this time pushing out with the Cypher. And you won't really see that when the sides flip, I don't think. Khalil's much more of a heavy anchor rather than trying to push out the support his jet. My eye. But Victor was really happy there to get aggressive deep down into cannon on an anti eco They didn't try against it, did they? Oh, here comes the Demon 1 operator, though. And he's going to try and get set up by the look of it towards a main. No one there, though. No targets. Maybe towards double doors if they end up shifting, but it's mid that's being played by Fury. What an orb liner. Here we go. Just taking mid control. The force Marv to now use the Viper's Pit. Block off that one choke point. We're really worried about this, and look at that reposition as well. That was Liazzi picking up the orb again. Repositions it into tunnel so they can get even deeper into mid. Yeah, both teams really interesting usage of the Viper orb. Marv threw his all the way into A main yeah. from tunnel. So that's now there to try to support Demon 1 as he picks towards double doors. I and mean, this is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, Crashies has got extraordinarily deep, but they're waiting for some kind of information for Crashies to go even further. And Furia are playing quietly right now, not giving too much of the game away. A lot of players contain and spawn because of that orb. They're worried about the lurk up into nest. There's the drone, Molly down, but there's nobody going to be following up through it. Instead, everybody right through the tunnel now. Victor is going to be the man to do the most here alongside Ethan. Ducking and dodging in between each other, trying to play between both of them. The flash was good, the connection damage done to Liazzi, but still he collects that kill, at least, into the spawn now. Great it's lovely with exactly the movement. Exactly. Lucky to not get that one kill, but still crashes is there. Finally, the lurk paying off. 
and they all just crumble. Ma finally took the time in to come out of his pit. Really great discipline, actually, from both teams there. Crashies with a phenomenal flank timing. Mark making sure that he stayed alive the entire time in the pit. And on the other side, you've got to praise Furia for trying to make the best of that situation. Doing a little jiggle, seeing if they can put pressure onto Ethan. But look at the angle. They've just got their back of their heads towards where Marv is pointing his rifle. At the moment, NRG look fearless in terms of the way that they're pushing out around the map. You know, Victor is quite happy to push out from B and not just hard anchor it. Crashies is walking down halls in the very next round. They're not worried about MW with some kind of attack side operator holding a, a line that they might walk into. The comms seem clean. They're not really losing track of any players as well when it really gets messy. I mean, that was a messy round. Players are all over the place, but we're using this timeout now to change the, uh, the tactic ever so slightly. You said, you know, they had that early conditioning with the heavy executes of Furia into the site. They have slowed it down yeah. since then, going for mid control, a bit more heavy towards there. Yeah, but the thing is, conditioning only really works if it was super successful, yeah. because then your opponents have to make a reaction off the back of it. And maybe Furia should start thinking about going back to some of those big execs. They haven't tried an exec on B when rifles have been up. That updraft dash exec with the recon and the flash, it looks like, based on the minimap, they might be trying something over towards A again. But this is the eco round, you know, Furia probably taking the time out here not to quite discuss what's going to happen in this one, but instead in round nine. I'll find their cipher. Be aiming to look for a couple of kills here, but they're going to be walking right into Demon 1. The anchoring player dodging the flash. Smoke in his face. Dash is still there. Spots the one. Will he go for the repeat as well? There it is. Havoc deleted. Flashes in his face. I mean, this is just oppressive in terms of the util that's being sent flying, but they do have this one player deep onto the site, NW. What can he really do though with the stinger? Gonna get up into somebody's face. Demon one with the classic. You're gonna be kidding me. Spike down Brutal. A. Poor Lil. Last one left. Not a chance. If you listen to any of the interviews, in the run-up to this season, the NRG players were talking about the fact that their job often is to set up Demon 1. The amount of initiator utility that is being thrown at Furia to make sure that they can't attack Demon 1 is absurd. There are flashes coming in, recons coming in, darts coming in. It's just everything is being used to make sure that Demon 1 has the best fuels possible. And now MW has gone for the glass cannon attack side off. Okay. So this is going to be a slower approach again, but he is vulnerable. Open for the first kill. A bit of a patient play just at the beginning, just in case there was that mid-aggression. Very far back. Ethan is jiggling. All the crosshair plays going to be good. There was a chance for MW. But a missed one. They've heard the drone come down halls. It's possible that MW could try to get set up over there. And that's where he's going. Yeah, jump spot. Here we go, chance number two. He doesn't know which angle to watch for here. Oh, adjustment. No damage, though. And this is the part in the round where Khalil actually needs to start making something happen. If MW can't find a pick, it's got to happen on the other side of the map. And you see Conan calling for Havoc Losing to come off. back over towards B. It's going to be difficult for MW Jackson's to get in. Up. He doesn't have an updraft to be able to get over yeah. these trips. Maybe the idea is to try and use this KO ult, but guess what? Victor is nowhere near. This setup's going to be alive. If they do turn this ult here yet, so they're going to be splitting into B, but it's not going to be connecting onto him, so trips are still there. No hard anchor, though, to play off the trips. But marved. Bit of a cheeky one. Crashies as well. They are collecting left. this one. The crossfire setup, they just don't have the angles. Watch for and Furia trying to get into this site. There's 25 seconds left. Clear has a spike. He's out in the open. He's got to reposition now. A bit close to the pillar. Finally, the plant's starting to go down. Conan is watching for this. Ooh, he finds it. An important one. But it's a 4v3 on the retake against, again, MW with no shields. Well, okay. Good one to begin. Answer now, 3v3. What about who can get these first picks as well? Demon One's also holding the operator angle. It's a difficult retake, but still, he just needs the one, and there it is. Maybe it opens it up once more. Khalil still close to the pillar, weaving. All over the place right now, so his teammates to try and watch his back. Ethan, he's crypt all the way behind, and he's won the round for his team. That's an insane kill from Ethan onto Conan. And to be honest with you, if Conan had just played time there and played off his Sober ult and the shock darts that he had, that might have been a better decision than trying to support his teammate on site. 
difficult to tell. Very difficult to tell what the best play would be in that moment. But that's now five rounds in a row for NRG. And look at the way they're defending B. What on earth is this? No yeah. hard anchor. Everybody on Fury are looking for the player that's going to be hidden somewhere on site. They're, they're nowhere to be found. Victor's on the other side so he doesn't get hit by the KO wall. And they got a crossfire from, from Narnia and the Waldron. <laughs> it really is. We top Ness and just playing all the way in arches. Yeah, it's unbelievable. But these positions are working so well. Yeah, they really are. Well, guess what? We're into the action. Missed about five seconds. Yeah, Demon 1 already took a peek down A main. A little bit of damage done to him. Shied away now. Crash, he's been getting a lot of value with this drone deep down into halls. But maybe Leazi can catch a timing. Look at this. Pushed up now onto the left side. It's a jiggle. Marv is so aware of this. Always making sure that that. One avenue is not open towards them, and now double doors. That is going to be the sideline. Havoc just walks Spike into it. Down, mid. It's a freebie, really, for Demon 1. Close to the corner. That's Marv here with the dash. Oh, MW! Oh, That's a bulldog! How's he pulling that off still? He will fall. I know exactly. 2v3. There needs to be a bit more being done, but it just cannot happen. Not with the weaponry. So NRG pulled things up to seven. And Furious success came so early on in this map. They just haven't been able to get anything on the board as soon as rifles were online for NRG. Yeah, it's been destructive, to be honest. I mean, the pistol round is the only reason this is looking remotely salvageable, Whoa, potentially like a 7-5. That was that disgusting. That was an ADS shot there. You can't deny MW skill. But at the same time, Demon 1 had already picked off two of the players. He, he caught Havoc just walking through double doors Here. and spun around, aware of the split push coming through A. They play again, reminiscent of a little bit earlier here, because Victor's playing up with them, but this time into elbow. Nobody will meet them. It's A main. to be played by Furia. And it's another one of those rounds where Furia are close to some huge ultimates, specifically the Viper's Pit, one away. And of course, the Hunter's Fury that they can use in the post plan. But NRG have been just contesting these plants going down so much. They're, they're playing retake B a lot, but A, both initiators fighting constantly to stop Furia getting any space. Just lobbing the artillery. Flashes, darts, mortar strike. Absolutely. I mean, they just can't take it. So Conan is just going to insert himself into A main and allow the rest of Furia to go and work around the map. They'll probably end A here as their IGL still maintaining or. control in that area. But there's only 50 seconds left. Enough time to work A, but not too much time to explore towards B. And there are still three, maybe even four no people way, ready to hit walking up on the defense. Trying to exec now, right for the double doors with this Hunter's Fury to set it up as well. Push these players out of position, but Mark, they didn't account for him. He's in through the back. There's the trade though. Brought him down, but still NRG, this firing squad is firing on all cylinders. Can't stop him, man. And if you had any doubts about NRG's calling, so far this defense has been played immaculately. They haven't really had to do too much pivoting on the fly, calling improv kind of stuff. Maybe in one of the rounds. But they are getting way too much value here from just leaving B open and putting a camera there. Yeah. I mean, Victor is basically just I'll leaving B with a cap, and they're allowed to stack four players A to stop this hit from coming through. One Fury enemy. are running into people on every single angle, battering their heads against a brick wall. Put everything into this final round of the half. What's the Let's see. Now that's interesting, that knife is normally to tag people up in A main, so they may not think that MW is Get walking the halls way. here. Drone being used as well to clear out mid, normally Crashies is exclusively using that for halls, but see if there's an opening. Still the trip covering it, so it'd be hard for MW to get anything done from that position. Ooh, this time much more aware. And off the back of that, knowing that the operator isn't there, MW Boys takes a couple mid. of steps forwards. At some point here, you know, he, he's going to be aware that Crashies is normally playing in this area. Look how they're trying to apply pressure to Crashies' position from both angles. Very hard for a sober to cover both spots here. A lot of noise being made up into Nest. And pings on the minimap. Yeah, I mean, NRG. Gotta be aware of this one here. They are potentially being squeezed. Oh, they with 37 seconds they, they left. They got the knife on Victor, so they got past his trip. What oh, an MW! Here it is. The time to strike is now. Well, the iron is hot. Left. This man, he's making all sorts of weaponry, isn't he? Dash forwards. He's feeling like really just getting involved into the thick of things. Demon one will not be outdone, but perhaps no. MW shuts him down. 
This chair head to head, manifesting for the last round of the half. Here's the pit, finally down in play. So down. These two players, the double doors, Marth and Vix are gonna try and play together here, find these kills. All up to Marth, he will fall. That is an 8-4 half. Finishing with a flourish, really, wasn't it, from Furia? An side. awesome round from twice the number of kills as the second player on the scoreboard, but more like five times. That is the win condition on defense. He's gonna be hunting fights. His team's bought him a sheriff in this round. Or rather, he's bought the sheriff in the round. So, oh, that is risky. He spotted. Really interesting. Cam, well, gets the one. NRG were running a fake into B there. Demon 1 got into the site, and they were hoping to try to get an easy plant down on A. But MW was pushing out of A at the same time. Yeah, that is crazy. So both Jets were fighting the opposite side of the map, and NRG's fake attempt has been found. And that means that they're now in a 3v4, where they've got to go down to plan B. Whatever that might be. There's some info. Good awareness from Havoc. Underhand of Flash to see if he can get any damage. But, okay, everybody's just getting out of there. Crashies. Didn't give up the space that he was holding on to just over towards Albo. 50 seconds left. What direction do they want to go in? It seems like there's some uncertainty. Yeah, but they're ending towards Havoc. Talented rookie player, but currently sat 0 and 11. I'm in a bit of a nightmare of the first game. It can be difficult. First time at the tier one level. Two spotted now. That should force out rotations at least. There it is. So you can find the first one on the board. Get rid of that goose egg. 25 seconds left. Easy access. Walk in straight past the by ball. Damage has been done. Look at this. It is just an absolute onslaught still. Surely you've got to be receiving it. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh my. Two plays left now for Furious. Still up onto the staircase. He crashes. Short work of that one. The Sova Diff here. Mike planted. Really any time to spare. Shot lands. Toxins going up. Yazzy ducking as well. Lucky to be alive here onto 20 health, but still maybe there's a chance with crashes low enough. And there it is through the wall. Turns it into a 1v1. But a single shot will do it really. Potentially onto Iver's side. Walking up onto the right side. It's all about the gambles. Could have crossed it onto it. Ethan's there, Liazzi! Three in the round, another pistol round. Massive clutch from Liazzi there. Picking up the rest of his team to deliver them the pistol. After the anchors over towards A had fumbled the bag a little bit. I definitely agree with Tarek. I think that there are some nerves in play here. I think for the Furious side in particular. You see these players that don't have as much experience. They particularly have it struggling a little bit. But Liazzi as well is not a player with huge experience at the top level. And that's a major clutch to come out with. Yeah, really nice. He's playing with a lot of respect for NRG. And I was worried that that, you know, he wouldn't be able to take the fights that he wanted to. But he managed to find them. You see what that means for Furia, they still believe that they can get back into this game. The pistol round does change pretty much everything. Almost guarantees the second round as long as you don't fumble. Walk in from NRG. All grouped up. Oh, this drone's gonna see him. Surely. No. Um, Duration wasn't enough. Yeah, Conan droning from too far back. Crashes was droning from much further up so that you could check that corner. He's just cautious, uh, worried about being dashed on, probably. Broken, but only the one person firing, so they. I don't know that they've got the entire squad here. Flash through, but still defensive positioning being played by Conan. Oh my goodness, still. Getting the damage really off there. MW still lucky. Backing away, round from the back. He's got it. He's got it. There we go. Welcome to the big time. Is that cyberbullying? I don't know, but. No, no, no. There's a second. Okay. <laughs> The crowd getting behind one of our youngest players here as well. I love that. People's champion important. right now, I think, honestly. Look at the streak of rounds that NRG got on the other half, and yet there's only two rounds deciding these two teams. It's the pistol rounds, right? Yeah, if Furia yeah. is able to actually get some value out of this bonus, this game could still be really close. And the defense side is where MW tends to feast. Not ready with the lineup. Feeling area. And fly now up towards mid, along with the knife as well. That's two layers of the util just to catch a player deep pushed up. It's MW suppressed as well. He can't get out of there. He can't actually dash to disengage. Demon 1 will bring down the counterpart. Immaculate utility to neutralize MW. They even threw the cage at the start in case he was peeking out B main at the beginning. I mean, NRG have thought about how to neutralize an aggressive defense jet here on Breeze. 
And with MW not really having other players to play off there, you know, no, no initiator to yeah. back him up. Not like Khalil was pushing out like we saw from Victor in some of the previous defense rounds. He's isolated and plucked out. NRG slow things down. The Azzy's pushed up. This is a weird angle. It's a really weird angle. I mean, this is the one thing working against NRG. They don't have any map control. They're gonna have to clear this one. Will they do so? Yes. Crashes is there with a the kill. The Azzy falling. I'm still alive. Now can start to just absolutely barrel their way onto the site. All falling. Crashes Small amount of fire down. Yeah, not very much fuel there from Marv. These players a little out in the open, but nice nade there. And then Archie are going to continue to apply this pressure. They, they only really require a few players on site to do this. Too. This post plan looks really nice. Yeah, right mid lurk here. from Victor. Demon one as well. Yeah, into halls. Up deep in halls. Plenty of threats available here. Fury are going to be finding it really difficult to try and play this retake. Time potentially against them. Ethan making noise with the jump spot. Timing unfortunate. Brutal. Still gets it. Utterly brutal. Still gets it. Door opening as well. Distractions being made for them into the back of it. Damage though. Okay. Players falling low, but so is the time. Look at that. It's ticking and it's working against them. There's no chance. Marv's in the cringe spot, man. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No chance in hell. Players going to be falling. But was that damage? Yeah, I think it was. They took armor from everybody. They killed two players. That's a decent bonus round for Fury of that. They've still got money to be able to buy up into this. They would have loved to win that. They would have loved to. It would have started the comeback. It would have allowed MW to build up a bank where maybe he could have got a defense-sided operator online. But listen, they'll take what they can get at this point. Three rounds now separate these teams. And MW's going to start to have to think a little more about how he gets aggressive on defense, this time with a lot of players over towards a main. Flash lineup from Havoc? Yeah, potentially. Just nine waiting out nine. Over the top, that's another flash. That's Ethan. Updraft movement, not enough to try and evade the sight line of Demon 1. It's all up in his face. Victor, not wasting any time, is he? Straight up towards the doors. Another flash. And recontest, though. The flash was not quite good enough, Ethan. He wasn't blinded. Victor, chance to feast for him as well. They are plucking and picking apart this A defense. Oh. It's surgical. It's looking like the temp is on the board momentarily. Kona, no chance. Just got to save this one. No way, does he really want to try and take that fight? Yes, he does. Not losing confidence just yet against our championship player. But Conan's got no chance, really, I don't think. Oh, he's he going to spread hey, down Mark, but he's going to run Bunny Hop straight into Crash, who's welcoming arms. And that round, round 16, may well have turned the tide firmly in favor of NRG. Because that's broken the economy of Fury. That shattered any chances of the bonus round having some level of uh, benefit to their economy. And it's going to allow NRG to creep very oh, close to And every rifle. Enemy was remaining. favored with a piece of utility or every rifle fight just looks so clean from NRG as well. Timeout has to be taken. Furia, they realize it. The back's against the wall for map number one. The thing is, Furia, I think, had two big win conditions in this map. And maybe you could say the match overall as well. I think this first map of Breeze is where Furia had the most chance. It's where we've seen them in the offseason destroy Cloud9, for example with that level of defensive aggression and some nice attack side rounds. But I think the two win conditions for Furia were, maybe even still are, MW's era having an unbelievable performance, and he has been shut down by NRG's extremely diligent play on their attack side. They are throwing extraordinary utility that's got pinpoint accuracy to push him into unfavorable situations, flash him, recon him, whatever it might be, and then kill him. Yeah. Uh, and set up Demon 1 for favorable fights then. And I think the other win condition potentially for Furia in this match is that Conan is able to outcall NRG, who, you know, don't have that much experience with a uh, you know, a very successful IGL on the team, et cetera, et cetera. And at the moment, NRG, everything is working for them. They look like a well-oiled machine, and this team's just barely getting started. I mean, they, they've only just formed, I mean, very recently compared to a lot of other teams. Yeah. Scrimming with the, with the core just over a month, I believe. So, uh, and they're looking this good. If you wanted the cracks to show for NRG, you would have to push them away from plan A. And unfortunately, plan A is just working so well right now. Yeah. That Furia are barely getting openings in some of these rounds. This is a slow start, isn't it? Hoping for that mid-aggression as well, because Demon 1 is just... Got his crosshair set on the top of that wall in case MW does decide to take a bit of a peek. Second 
Hopkins getting whistled away. Oh, hello. Close to the wall, close to the corner, just needs to get him. Self out of there, Havoc. Getting cheeky with it. You need a miracle if you're furious. The miraculous players on the other Careful. team. Demon One's mechanics have not suffered for the long off season with his what five month break he, he from did the say game. Four to five months. He was just watching movies and traveling. What? That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Ah, uh, yes. He didn't touch the game. The the most well known training regime for top Valorant players. Yep. This man is built so different. Phased. Yeah, I mean he might be taking the Iceman title away from Marv to be honest. <laughs> Thirty seconds left. I think he's too fiery to be the Iceman. That's the thing that. I'm... Havoc cleared out, one bullet left. Can he do anything with it? The answer is no. Marv, it's the extra piece that was needed. Taking a lot of space now up towards stairs. Three players left now for Fury, but the plant's down. A slow and steady approach from NRG. They leave no gaps in their play. And I'm going to be honest, Brent, at this point, now that NRG are looking like they're getting up to 11-6, the questions going through my head are more, are they going to show what their genuine plans are with these ultimates? Or are they going to try to conserve Poison strategies up. that they're working for, for for later games? Which is a brutal spot to be in. Fury and need to continue pressuring them. You know what his final two players are? Hungry for the kills, the flash, and the dart. Everything to set it up once more. Initiators really helping it out. One last bullet. I don't know for it, but yeah, NRG running away with his map. And it really has been down to that initiated diff. I mean, we're talking about it. Ethan and Crashies, those waves of util. MW can't get away with as much as he's potentially hoping for. Yeah, I really agree with that. I think that Crashies and Ethan have been absurd in the way that they've set up Demon 1. But also on the defense side, this is Victor's first ever game as Cypher, right? We think about this guy being super flexible, but normally he's been playing in the Killjoy meta. And they were getting crazy value out of just putting the cam and a little bit of a setup over towards B and stacking A. Whereas Fury are playing much more spread around the map, they're forced to because they don't exactly know where NRG are ending. Gamble by Fury, three players anchoring over towards B, expecting NRG to be trying to go and hit into that side. Ethan has the KO ult. And that's why they're holding exactly. Khalil on the opposite side, a classic anti-KO ult setup here. But NRG, I'm looking like they've read it a little bit, to be honest, it's setting up for some kind of A split. It's going to be a slower round because Demon One's looking for a pick with the Operator. But there is so much that you can do on Jet with this map uh, now that Halls has been re added in. Yeah. You know, opening the switch, dashing out onto Yellow on the defense side, going for some pushes down there with a the recon dart potentially. It's a, it's a Jet's paradise, this map. And look at the amount of respect that's being shown. I mean, Fury is not eager to try and peek, take a look down Halls either. Slide off angle. Now the dart comes through. 45 seconds left. They've just walked Ethan onto site. Kind of alone. He hears them though. There we go. Offload in the ult. See if he can survive as well. This is revealed for about a moment. Here we go. Hunter's Fury into the back. Ethan couldn't quite stand this crowd, but it's Liazzi who will stand and deliver. Hunter's Fury eventually a kill to be claimed. It's crashes onto Havoc. Door opened up. Demon one. That's the knives available if he really wants to just let them rip. Still the dash active on top of things still. Won't get anything done with it though. It's a weird round. Maybe they can make the most of all of this here with time running so damn short, Victor. Man of the hour. You can't let them win this round, Fury. It's absolutely insane. You've got to be kidding me. MW to the 1v1. Dart doesn't scan him. Just brought it to this one moment defining. It could be everything, the back breaking round. That He's looking to avoid by winning this one out, but the timing's here, caught it to the side! Crashies! Denied the chance, that's all MW. Fury had done such a great job of setting themselves up for success there. It's the first round where I'm confused at what the game plan was for NRG. Ethan was so far out on site alone. Just trying to take advantage of the fact that they felt nobody was really playing A. And the, the lead was somewhat accurate, but it wasn't synced up with what Demon 1 was going for. And look at Liazzi here. He was able to play off the back of the Hunter's Fury, get in deep, and MW closes it out with that classic, awesome op accuracy. They need more of that. And after the first round, in my opinion, where NRG's game plan looked a little off, instant timeout. Instantly. I mean, Chet hits the big red button. 
immediately. Not wasting any time. Here's somebody in the crowd saying, good time out. Respect that. <laughs> Get the coach whistle out. <laughs> but yeah, they can feel it. You know, listen, it was the first round where things did get shaky with the game plan. The players have talked about Ethan adjusting into the IGL position and, you know, Crashy saying, we understand we have to support him as well. It's a new role for him, despite all the experience he's got. He's played with world-class, world, world you know, championship caliber IGLs. Yeah. Um, yeah multiple yeah. across the board, so. Across multiple esports. Yeah, well. <laughs> exactly. It's time in CS too. But there is still a chance for Fury in this game. The issue is, it looks close because Fury have won both of the pistols, right? And now they're starting to win a couple of rifle rounds like here or there, round 12, round 18, both really good rounds for Furia, but their economy is still shot. And there's an outlaw on the other side too, Demon 1 picking it up. Okay. What was the bet that they had on the analyst desk? I think it was Demon 1 picking it up. I but mean, there's a lot twice. of half armor targets. Yeah, three light armor targets on the other side. MW, right? The jet head to head, one body shot from either player. What's be waiting for him though. Here's a flash with a knife to set this one. Oh, Khalil! Oh my, looking like week one 2013. 2013? 2023. Yeah, that's what I meant. What, you're going back a decade? I'm going back a decade, apparently. <laughs> Good call out. I don't think I knew Khalil back then. <laughs> I don't think Valorant was out back then. <laughs> All right, so NRG under a little bit of pressure because Demon One's been popping off this game so far. They haven't really had to play an attack side round with him down. Marv has the spike, he's one away from Pit. But it's gonna be difficult to get any kind of purchase on the A side. Yeah. Single shot, made four out. Havoc just using the Utah to try and delay here, but down to a minute left, sidestep, Marv. He's eloquent with it. More he's awkward pretty... timings from Havoc. Leal is lit up. Players now starting to swarm onto the side still. They do have the benefit of having this pit all towards main. They don't have to worry about that position. Clear though, he is being swarmed, surrounded, pincered. Players finally arriving. Still Liazzi alive, sidestep once more, playing into this pit. They've got nothing to clear him out here, and they want to be trying to commit 2A. This is an absolute disaster for NRG. 30 seconds left. Leave it up to Victor. He can't find any easy fight, and it's shut down in a moment's notice. I came into this game thinking that the difference maker might be Havoc, because I think his performance during the offseason and during his time in Tier 2 looked really promising. But actually, the big player that's stepping up is Liazzi. He's 14 and 14 right now, but the frags that he's getting are so high impact. I mean, he's got to survive here and find his isolated ones, and he just peeks out of the pit, manages to get onto crashes, times his peak onto Ethan perfectly as Ethan was reloading the classic after he'd spent all of his bullets spamming the pit too. Another big round from Furia to pull this back to within three. They are not down and out. Still winnable. So much of this game on the attack side has come down to A splits, Hall's play, that kind of thing. We haven't really seen many big B execs. Nobody wants to go into that Viper Wall and Trip setup. Keep drone, not really seeing too much. And a nice cam from Victor that does see a lot. Yeah. It lets him know whether our people are jiggle peeking, whether there's an opera on the angle. It's going to allow him to get up deep. And of course, he's always got two cages to be able to open that door and create pressure from Switch as the rest of his team gets close. Will this flash connect onto the backside player? That's the Azzy. Off around the corner. Dark flash, everything being combined, even with the knife. Liaz is still holding his ground, still shot missed. No players running his way up there. That's Victor still, and he has taken out a kill still. Liaz! Play to watch for, really. He's the one making these rounds more than winnable. Out to the side, though, does not expect crashes at that particular position. MW narrowly avoiding it as well. Bullet sailing, whistling right over to his head. He's looking for the fight. Now with the ult. Offloaded, gives them an idea of the positioning. Pit offloaded, 16 awesome. seconds left. It's an awesome pit. It blocks the sight line and allows him to cross. It's not really to play the post plant, it's just like a smoke. He's trying to get himself there. There it is. Time available for the plant. Playing forward into the pit could come down to almost anything. Battle of the timings, okay. Crashy's reposition has got to be fairly unexpected here as well. The last time they saw him, he was over by the Crab Pyramid. They expect it. It's being watched for. It's not going to be a swing from Marth either. Crashy is just looking a little bit back. MW! What a read! He's so damn aware! And Marth is low, low enough. Tiniest amount of chip damage will do it. Round to the side. That's a bit overkill with a shot to the cranium, but it gets them the round. RG economy. 
and they don't have those big ultimates to work with. They're one away from crashes, and somewhat close to Ethan's, but probably not going to be online this round. MW not playing as aggressive, by the way. Good adjustment from the Jet on Furia. He, he's really found that discipline and patience that we've been wanting to see from him as the evolution of his game from years prior when he's been on Duelist. He's not just giving himself away as a free pick, trying to force the fight. He, in fact, is anchoring B in this round. He's watching the funnel. Khalil. Just in case it does come through. Crashies and his ult a little bit prior. We saw that one, and now the team grouping up for a potential B hit. But really essential, I think, that they try and remove these trips. Either the knife connecting, or otherwise, maybe some util. Drone used to clear close, just in case somebody repositions into main. Here's MW chance. Missed. Here we go. A lot of util being used, lit up. MW trying to avoid it, playing inside it. There we go. Oh, lit up. Plenty of chances with the shorty. Still two bullets left. Into the chain, but he's weaving it out for Victor. He's got his eye on him. It is chaos and anarchy right now. Into the B side. Kills. Having it all over the bloody place. Things stabilize a little, though. Into a 2v2 here. And the Cypher ultimate, huge to give away information. Crashies is coming around the side. Crashies, Crashies is traded. One versus one. And Liazzi, it's been more than good for it. Victor, real chance to shine, put them up. Lovely jump spot, gets the information. Repositioning to the back of the site using the Viper Wall against him. Liazzi puts his own up though. Here we go. Round to the side is Victor. Shuts it down and brings NRG to that 12th round. Next point. Major play from Victor, who's been quietly putting up an excellent performance in, again, his first ever Cypher game. You can tell that he's put in the hours. It oh, also God. seems like a suited uh, agent for him. He's very good in these anchor positions, good in the clutch as well. NW had some chances here to make magic occur. But instead, most of the impact was happening off the back of Sova Utility. Conan got two with like a shock dart and then a, a wall bang. Victor got one off the wall bang as well. And now we head in. NRG up to 12. Looking to try and take this fight through mid this time. W. Chance. Find a cheeky pick off. And the diligence isn't there. Look at that, Ethan. Not expecting it. I believe that's one of the first times MW's played in that spot. Yeah, and he's doing a great job of mixing things up. Still managing to be dynamic and mobile whilst, whilst not always pushing on defense. That is a fake wall from Marv, making it feel like it's over towards A, when in fact, they're getting set up for the B pinch. Liazzi is going to be under pressure, only a specter to his name. Yeah, and Tunnel needs to be watched for as well, so the squeeze doesn't come in, but LG hoping and praying for it now. Look at it, they've already crossed. MW's missed that one, and the dart reveals him. He's going to be pushed off this angle. Crashes is already in, walking. Behind them, Conan just not even watching it with his own gun. Liazzi still there close to the corner, only with the Spectre. Ten bullets. Anybody going to be walking into him now with 40 seconds left? Putting a break and a pause into the play because the spike has been dropped down at the wall. I've got to be honest with you, I think this is a save it for is now. They're in a 2v4, they have an off, oh, barely any money. Marv's only 50 credits, Crashy's 350. The rounds have gone back and forth. They don't have a big loss bonus. They just won the prior. So this, this has got to be a save. And if Furia have the confidence for it, and if they decide to push forwards as the time gets lower, these could be big rewards if you're able to take the op and the rifle out of NRG's hands. They're keeping their own guns, left. though. Their money's low enough. But, I mean, yeah, I mean... Yeah, it is. I mean, I think it's a worthwhile, though, risk to take. You, you do see Liazzi, actually, looking to go forwards because he's the player with the Guardian, yeah. right? So he's not bothered about saving that into the next round. But it looks like nobody on NRG is really going to get spotted. So they survive anti of NRG, but only slightly. I'm ticking down. Like you said, ults to build towards, maybe crashes as well, build towards the Hunter's Fury in this round. Hope and pray that Demon 1 might be able to find something, at least with that operator, he's still got drone. Gonna be used. It's a strange dynamic though for NRG because they want to put Demon 1 and Victor in good positions, but they don't want to lose the rifles, right? Or, or the operator. Yeah, Khalil is not giving him anything. There might be a chance though, he's creeping onto the left angle. Guess what, Havoc is playing there. Oh, oh, hey. What? That's barely a sliver. Another disgustingly unfortunate moment for Havoc because he just gets drilled by that, man. Here. He's having a nightmare already. Yeah. Turning up to the tier one level and playing against the world champ. The top level Here. performing player from Champions. Tough ask. MW looked like he wanted to take 
Nice little fight, but no, backs away now, realizing that they've lost control of halls. And Victor's quite isolated over towards elbow here. He's going to be in the hard lurk position. But he's got that rifle. Walk it up. Crashies. Might hear that trip close. At least the cam as well. You can hear it. Yeah, they ping. And Marv just getting that fuel back. Now they can go for a proper exit. Just walking still in. just contacting behind it. But the cam is going to see all of this. And here it is. Util's broken. Still close to the corner, Khalil. Cage is up. Plant, Ethan. Should be dissuaded away from it with any sort of util. Just going to let that one get off here. Khalil doesn't dodge the flash with the underhand, Victor. but there was no peek coming through it. There's Victor. And now he's opened up the B site. The mid rounding. This is the opportunity. Oh, of course. The plant's still close. Out. Yeah, still close to the corner, though. And there's still. Walking a little bit wider, there it is. Lino's being used on offer, and this is when the time really starts to tick. Putting it all on the line here for Fury, and this could be the backbreaker, the round win, just based off that alone, but the Lino's bad. Yeah, the Slight miss to the side, but they don't want to stick it in the moment here still. Conan pressing the advantage, pushing forward still. Khalil, he will fall, half on it, and a shot! <laughs>